September night last year, the military moved quickly. Soldiers surrounded Government House in central Bangkok. They were under orders not to let anybody in or out. But it was largely a symbolic move. Prime Minister Thaksin was out of the country. In Thailand, the coup leader, General Sontibun Yaratgalin, told the nation that he and his team weren't seizing power for themselves. Instead, they wanted to restore peace and harmony. It was Thailand's 19th coup, but its first since 1991. Unlike previous military takeovers, this one was peaceful. Not a shot was fired. Military rule was nothing new for the four million people living in the southernmost provinces of Yalar, Naratiwat and Patani. There's been a state of emergency here since the beginning of 2004. More than two and a half thousand people have died since then, the majority of them civilians. About 90% of the people here are Muslim and ethnic Malay. The rest are Buddhists. They're caught in the middle of the armed conflict. When the coup took place, Surasak Pojpa was 10 years old. A Buddhist, he attends Yering Elementary, a school of about 1,200 students, most of them Muslim. In a region where many teachers have been murdered, this school has been spared. But students like Surasak have not been so lucky. In the week after the coup, his widowed father died at the local hospital. Every day when he leaves school with his aunt, he relives that fateful ride. The insurgents want a separate Muslim homeland and in recent years have escalated their campaign to get it. Few people are spared. In December, this medical centre in Patani province was torched by militants. Funded by the Thai government, it served the local Muslim population. Community medic Mahamad Kaule doesn't know why it was targeted. They made a mess, didn't they? เอ่อนี่ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ทราบอยู่ดีว่าคือสถานการณ์บ้านเราไม่ค่อยจะสงบนะครับก็ก็ก็ทั่วไปฮะทั่วไปก็ไม่
With the change of power last year came promises of a new way in the South. The head of the armed forces and the coup leader, General Santi Bunyaratgalin, is a Muslim. But if the junta thought that would solve the problems in the South, it was mistaken. Since uh, September last year, 2006, until this year, 2007, we continue to see the rise of brutal attacks against Buddhist Thai. Buddhist Thai were beheaded, were hacked into pieces and set on fire. Father was, was shot in front of their wife and children. While the South has been a priority for the military government, the majority of Thais are more concerned about the economy. Growth has slowed because of a series of poor policy decisions affecting investment. It has more than a few Thais wishing for the good old days of Thaksin Shinawatra. Despite a year out of the cut and thrust of Thai politics, Thaksin Shinawat is still every bit the politician, even in exile. Please put your hands together for city's new chairman and manager, Dr. Thaksin Shinawatra and Sven Joran Eriksson. Here they are. As the new owner of the Manchester City Football Club, he's become an unlikely hero in this working class town they've taken to the man they call Sinatra. Fly with me, we'll float down to Peru. Before I can say that uh, I'm very thankful, the concert tonight is to express my sincere thanks to all of you. To it might not be the soundest business decision he's ever made, spending $200 million to own the club and millions more on new talent, but it's a stroke of genius for a man keen to maintain a profile in soccer-mad Thailand, where the English Premier League has a huge following. Thaksin Shinawat's deep pockets have caused Thailand's military chanter more than a little angst. Are you surprised that Thaksin Shinawat still has the kind of popularity in Thailand that he appears to have at the moment, given what has come out over the past 12 months or thereabouts? I'm not surprised because he has a lot of money and uh, money can talk. What message would you like to give Thaksin Shinawat right now? I would like to say that uh, I will treat him fair and square. I'm not trying to push him into the corner. Thaksin Shinawat and more than 100 of his Thai Ruk Thai colleagues have been banned from politics for five years. The Kingdom's Constitutional Court also dissolved the party. <laughs> This man is leading what's being seen as the new Thai Rak Thai Party. TV chef Samak Suntora Ware was recently voted head of the new People Power Party. A former minister and one-time governor of Bangkok, he's vowed to overturn the ruling against Mr. Thaksin and Thai Rak Thai if he's elected. They cannot make a judgment, something like that. So I do, I disagree with what they have done. Now they try to get rid of Khun Thaksin, the party in the first place, and even Khun Thaksin himself. The most likely contender to lead the country after an election is Abbasit Wedchachiwa, the Oxford educated head of the Democrats. He and his party also faced expulsion from politics, but the courts ruled in their favour. 
when General Santi Punyaratgalin first came into power last year, he was hailed that there might be some change in the South because he is Muslim. Do you think that has made any difference to the situation down there? Maybe a little bit, but not very much. It uh, makes our friends abroad understand that if you are Muslim in Thailand, you have a chance to progress. This is something that uh, we can say it has a good impact on the international front. But at the local level, just minor change. He, General Sun, he is Muslim, yes, but he still represents the Thai state. He still represents what the separatists call infidel forces. <laughs> In recent months, the military has made a large number of arrests in the south. In Patani province, the alleged insurgents are brought here to Camp Inkayut, where their families are allowed to visit. Local community leaders say innocent people are being caught up in aggressive campaigns by the government. Critics worry that it will only lead to further radicalization particularly of young people. During our visit to the South, we were given access to a former insurgent who joined the cause with friends when he was just 13 years old. He's 19 now and lives in hiding after faking his own death in December last year. Do you know how many people you killed, even as part of a team? And what would they say if they knew you were still alive? He's in little doubt that others will pick up from where he left off. A year ago, General Suryud took over as Prime Minister. While the South remains a priority, in the few months he has left in office, General Suryud wants to improve Thailand's economic outlook and ensure that elections are held soon. It will be the decision of the Thais in order to select the new leader, the new government for our country. Do you regret having taken on this position? No, I think I'm doing uh, the last job of my life for the country. General Suryat was hoping to step down after December's election, but there's talk now that the poll will be delayed until next year. Some of his colleagues, however, seem to have taken to political life, notably the coup leader, General Santi Bunyaratgalin, who's weighing up a new career in politics despite concerns about his motives over the past year.